Put you back on the what? From the beginning. Can I put the lead? Sorry. Yeah. Can I put the lead? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? No, maybe possible. Why? Y'all ready to get started? Yes, we are. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining today. We have Mr. E.L. Crane with us today, and he's going to be going over ways for you to build your brand. So without further ado, Mr. E.L., you have the floor. Thank you. How's everybody doing today? Right. Uh, yeah, your is not overwhelming. Uh, Mr. Davis, can you pull that door back there, please? Absolutely. You know, what a forgiving thing. Because nobody else believes it. Everybody got the market domination, uh, QR code, and the class market domination brand deal. Okay? So, the key on the way over here, but the class sponsor today is Natasha Livingston, worst work life ever. We, we're coming here to tell her that first work by first, right? Because I'm still waiting for her to be on time. That's, that's I mean, you still blame it on me. I'm just letting you go. Okay. Brand new on the market domination. You have to understand the process. And it's knowledge management. Your brand. What does your brand mean in the marketplace? What is the viability and the value of your brand in the marketplace? Do people respect your brand in the marketplace? It's the thing. And all you gotta do is look by association. You're associated with what you drive, what you wear, where you live. Brand association. So there's a process, there's technology involved in this whole brand building dynamic to make sure that you are identified in the marketplace. And the best way to be identified in the marketplace is to be distinctive but professional. Okay. This is my favorite thing. Am I not one? Money. No, I'm not. Huge fan. Great name is huge fan. Huge fan, okay? As long as you're huge fan, you stay in the room with you got a huge fan, you need to leave out the room. Okay. You can't get to this unless your brand is recognized on the marketplace. Because this is what you have. You have agents out there that have a license and they sell something, they think they're a wonderful agent. No, a bro clock is right twice a day. So anybody can look into an opportunity. But can you do it consistently? Consistency is your brain. Like, you can tell me about me. All right. Mm -hmm. One, I wear a suit and tie every day. 10 degrees or 110 degrees. I got on a suit and tie. That's a part of my brand, but it's also my father in my head. When I leave the house, be prepared to be the most important person in the world that day. Stays in my head. I talk to my father in my head all the time because of that. That's why your brand. It's so, so very important to be recognized. All right? Can I take you with me? Have you ever asked yourself that when you meet somebody, can I take you with me? You can't take everybody with you. Everybody don't deserve to be with you. I tell people this all the time. 
I don't mix my Popeye's chicken friends with my Morton Steakhouse friends. Uh -oh. You can't mix them. You cannot mix them. Because if you want to protect your brand and be recognized having things of value, you cannot diminish your value when it comes to your brand. Your brand is an absolute must protect. An absolute must protect. Did you do something uh, over here? Yeah, you mess with the machine. Yeah. And, you know, okay. you always mess with stuff. Don't panic. Don't panic. I got you. You know, I got you. Every time I have extra people in the room. <laughs> Look, I need to move this anyway. Hold on now. Be patient. No. See, if they were here, we wouldn't have to worry about these people. Okay. Who is the L friend? Right? Have you found yourself thinking, I would like to increase my real estate brand value, start overcoming those limiting beliefs, and truly grow my business? Well, I have some great news for you. The real ELC offers unique real estate training for professionals just like you. Whether you're a new agent or a seasoned professional, you can gain access to the wisdom, tips, and insights of a team of decades of real estate, business development, and marketing experience. And you will be on the best part. By receiving training from the real ELC, you'll become part of the RMG Collective National Real Estate Marketing Platform. Just visit the real ELC.com to start growing your real estate business today. Real ELC, my brand. Uncompromising, inflexible, authentically me at all times. I have been accused of, yeah, you can't say that. Yes, I can because I said it. I work in Monarch College of Texas. They gave me a title when they were going to work. They gave me the hiring me first, then they gave me the title. I tried to put out your renegotiated, I didn't win the conversation. I was certified trainer for the Lustre Institute. Those were the Lustre. Where's name of the Lustre? Lustre takes an investment. Know that going forward. Lustre takes an investment. This is me. And the uh, other thing, man, I can't put up here right. <laughs> so, brand marketing. Brand has got a big plan. But no, that's it. That's it. Okay, you don't have a business plan, you don't have a brand. You understand? If you don't have a business plan, you don't have a brand. You can't tell me you have a brand with no associated business plan. People want to know what you believe in, what you think, how you feel, and how you negotiate this world of problem. Everything you got in that. Up here, man, it's not. You got to put it on paper. You have to have reference material. Somebody's at the back door. You have to have reference material to facilitate growth of your brand. Okay? Business plan. Your vision. What's included in your business plan? Your analysis of how you want to do your job. What's included in your business plan? What is your decision making process? All right? Your marketing and your planning. What is it that you have or don't have? That's the dynamic that we work with. You, you know what I'm talking about? Hang it, you good. All right. So, emphasis, residential sales. Emphasis. Who wants to make more money? Then you know how. Everybody wants to make more money. But do you know how? And I'm gonna give you one step further. Everybody in here is a star. Okay? Everybody in here is a star. But you don't have any light showing on you. Okay? Everybody's a star. Where's the light? That's your brand. You need to be seen. That star needs to be seen and needs to shine bright at all times. That's why you got to do a better job of planning. And you have to do a better job of how you want to make the 12 million in sales. We had this conversation last time. 35 transactions, $355 per transaction, $365 growth income. Does anybody have a problem with $365 growth income this year? 
No, you know the thing that comes two or three times, yeah? Right. But you have to do it based on daily goals. Your goals are a part of your brain. What you're seeking to achieve each and every day is a part of your goal making process. You have to have weekly goals, monthly goals, and quarterly goals. And who's going to hold you accountable? Start with self. And you know how you hold yourself accountable by starting with self? You have to unshackle yourself from the negative that hold you back. We have a tendency to shackle ourselves and hold ourselves back. Think about this. I was with Amy last night. Same thing. Star, no mind. She shackled by her previous bad marriage. Divorced 10 years ago. All right? PTSD for when she was in the military 12 years ago. Lost her father seven years ago. I said, those are shackles, those are excuses. Right. You have got to keep on to you elevate your brand away from those excuses. Unshackle yourself. Because it's not what has happened that you can't do anything about it. What is behind you doesn't. He didn't want to see you now. What is your brand saying about you right now? That's the dynamic you have to work with. Because I don't want 12 million sales, I want to say 18 million dollars in sales. And I talked to Mr. Davis, he will be quite happy that you generate 18 million dollars in sales. Exactly. I heard it from him himself. I can tell you what I heard, tell you what I heard. All right. That's 51 transactions. But not to associate the realtors, y'all favorite people right now. Okay. They say you can accommodate 84 transactions by yourself. That's seven transactions a month. But I'm only asking you to do three. To get you to a half million dollars in income. You can't do that without having a brand that's being elevated and exposed. Diversity. Culture diversity. Monetary diversity. Resources and access. I know he's a big believer in it, but are you facilitating that? Or are you like a lot of people I know? You only talk to people that look like you. You can't just make money with people that look like you. All right? People tell y'all time. And I'll tell you this. I was Hispanic on Monday, Asian on Tuesday, and Black on Wednesday. I'm interested in a check. But my brand is available for each one. That's how you expand and grow your business. Your brand has to be viable universally. That's brand new. And the emphasis is on residential sales. The emphasis. All right? I always tell agents this. When you do a sale, tell the story. That's building your brand. Tell the story. That's building your brand. So when you tell the story, somebody has the same kind of situation that needs to hear that story so they can contact you and hire you. Tell the story. Don't put the dollar amount. Tell the story. This family was in a struggle. It took them two and a half years to save the money necessary. But I showed them a shorter way. Down payment system. Or whatever the case may be. Tell your story. People want to hear the story. Brandon Sniper Marketing. Who sniper marketing? Who shotgun market? Who shotgun marketing right now? Yeah, just throw something on the ball, hope something stick it. Help me, help me. Say how it works. Say how it works. You have to have specific targets. We talked about this before. Who are you introducing yourself to and who are you being introduced to? Your brand needs to be introduced. Your brand needs to be introduced. Okay? People say, I get away with stuff. Because I'm a six foot seven just going black man. That ain't why I get away with stuff. I say what I feel and I feel what I say. And if you don't like it, slip and fall. That's why I get away with stuff. I am who I am, no matter the circumstance. Most people don't walk that way. My father told me, those who have never apologized for what you chose to do. You might say I'm not gonna do it again, but don't apologize that you chose to do it. And my story goes this way. Me and one of my older brothers, we had no money, 
But both of us are the cars, a lot of gas. So we decided we're gonna siphon the gas out of our father's car and our other brothers and sisters' car. And my father had one of those theories for everything. First thing he said, who took the gas out of my car? Watch this. We saw this car. No, you not. You caught. You caught. So remember the decisions that you make, you have to stand by them when it comes to your brand. You can't compromise your brand to benefit the insecurities of another. Oh, I don't want to make you feel bad. You know, they didn't do no sales last week. I don't care. I'm going to the bank. Okay, no, I'm going to the bank. We cannot diminish our brand due to the insecurities of another. That's like a rich person saying, well, I, I'm not going to spend my money because I, all I know is poor people. Okay? No. I'm going to spend my money to live my life. You are going to work this business to prosperity. But it starts with the brand. How are you recognized in the marketplace? How are you being recognized in the marketplace? Who recognizes you in the marketplace? It's a dynamic. It's a dynamic. You want people to know you for a variety of reasons. What do you know for? You're hitting it in another line. What you know for? What you know for? What you know for? You know what you know for? Get out. What you know for? Spreading the news. Spreading the news. She's a doctor, right? Oh, I didn't say news. A good news. Oh, yeah. Watch out, he might turn. What's in the plane? Yeah, because you know the dread is always there. But what else? The brand, okay? That's part of your brand. That's part of her brand, okay? What's your brand? Define okay. um, yourself. Oh. You know? Uh, wait, you asked me to define myself or what am I known for? Certain things. Why do you know what are you know? Um, taking pictures. Huh? Taking pictures. Taking pictures? You like yourself? Yeah. A lot. Yeah. You want to okay. All right. But think about it. Does it take you where you want to go? Mm -hmm. So you're getting business out of you taking pictures. So you're getting new home sales out of you. Oh. Yeah. You, know, we, you know we hear about real estate, right? Is everybody here about real estate? Ask for a friend. <laughs> okay. Remember, your brand, your snack market, your targeting, your markets, who are you going at? Now, I get in trouble for the following thing, and I've said it a couple times to some of you in here. I don't work with broke people. I don't like broke people. Broke people get out of my space. Because if you work with broke people, you're going to be broke. You are not social workers. You're a real estate professional. And your brand needs to dictate that. I am a real estate professional. This is what defines me. That's what your brand needs to say. Because you need to be working with medical professionals and teachers. And engineers and nurses and high net worth individuals and CPAs and your insurance partner database market. All of these people are going to grow your brand because if they don't know you, they cannot buy you. If they don't know you, they cannot buy you. Why would I hire you? Michael Davis, how many of you listen to Brooklyn Davis have? Yeah. You don't know? I need you to resign. <laughs> Okay, looking forward to it. Okay, looking forward to it. Okay, here you go. What area do you market in? Northwest. Northwest who? Northwest. No, Northwest. Okay. Your favorite neighborhood over here? My neighborhood. What is that? What's your neighborhood? Cypress Creek Land. Okay, Cypress Creek Land. Can you tell me the five largest single family residential listings in your neighborhood? What do you mean? You want the address to them? No, no, I just want the amount. Can you tell me the five? Largest single family residential listings in your market area. No. But I should hire you to service that area, but you don't even know what's going on over there. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You need to know these things. All right. When you tell me I don't want to work a neighborhood, you need to know the neighborhood. Yeah. You need to know what's in the neighborhood. How are you going to sit there and represent my interest when you don't even know what's going on? That's true. Your brand will dictate that. Your performance will dictate that. How do you achieve the market based on your knowledge? No knowledge, no market. Okay? Go one step further. You need to know 
How is under contract? His bones that have expired, listings that have expired, except you need to know, we need to become better researchers so that you can identify your targets. We developed a matchmaking program. You know what the matchmaking program is? The listing and the buyer who can afford to buy. We have a tendency to market the people who can't buy what we have. That's why you need to know these markets that you're talking to. Okay? That's the dynamic of Slack marketing. Not, give me your markets. Value based zip codes. Household income. You need to know the household income is very zip codes so that you can market appropriately. What do you look like marketing to a zip code that has an average household income of $90,000 and you looking for a household income to buy a house that's under $20,000? Knowledge based marketing. You need to understand first time home buyers, high market rents. Now, I know over here, I know I'm up here. You need to get your skill set together in developing your brand to educate these people. I know seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars worth of rents. Your brand. Oh, my agent. Finally, made me understand the value of home ownership. I have been paying seven thousand dollars a month for the last four years. But I have an agent now who has communicated to me in an appropriate manner, not condescending, educationally. We have a tendency to sell versus educate. That needs to be a part of your brand. Growth buyers, current owners, two for one. They started out, we don't have three kids, now they got five. They need to move, so they need to list and buy. Why are you talking to these people? Why are you talking to these people? She has relationships with these hospitals that have delivered all these babies. Hospitals that deliver all these babies. There is census information in these hospitals. How many children ABC Brown already has and she's handling one of This is marketing knowledge. That is public knowledge. But we don't spend enough time researching to establish and build our brand value. How about semi luxury by 500,750 cash? Do you know how to get them? Everybody want to sell them, but do you know how to get them? And no, that's not grammatically correct. But cultivating this business is the lifeline to your success. You can take care of you. You can be a part-time social worker all you want. <laughs> this is the lifeline of prosperity in real estate. Five hundred seven hundred thousand dollars. That market had no downturn last year. None. Every other one did. That was it. This one's a right here. Five hundred seven hundred. And when you get with your lender partner, you know what you do. What kind of household income does it take to qualify for a mortgage in this range right here so that you know who to be marketing to? Now, now you know that the Popeye's chicken manager, he can afford this, but the one at the cash register cannot. The plumber can afford this. The electrician can afford this. We spend so much time chasing doctors and lawyers and small business owners that the people that are making 150000 dollars a year, we think they're beneath us because of the job they have. No. I have an inspector in my networking group. His firm grossed $1.7 million last year doing home inspections. But we have a tendency to forget vocations. That's where these are. The luxury buyer up to five million dollars. It's not about who, it's about where they at. But again, not grammatically correct. You need to be in those rooms. Your brand needs to be in those rooms. The brand that you are developing and securing in the marketplace needs to be in these rooms. You can't say the following. I don't know who I know with. 
So I'm going to show up. You can't cultivate relationships status quo. You got to change. Your brand has got to elevate, expand, and put yourself in different spaces. That's a problem that we have when we are in that smaller place. In that smaller place. My agent told me, I just sold a million dollar house. He thought I was going to say, Congratulations, my son. Where's the next one at? Roll clock right twice a day. You guys love better than that. Show me how you're going to cultivate business. And stop doing this. When you have a big sale and close, that's done. You're talking about it two or three years later about this million dollar sale you did, and you ain't sold nothing since then. Stop talking about it. Go get another one. You have hope right here. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about it. As hard a time as I get him, I know the value of his deliverables. As hard a time as I get rich, well, I don't see that often, but I know his deliverables. Because I think he would just take it, but that's just me. Okay. But think about it. I know his deliverables, though. He is a resource and an access within the confines of your brokerage. And if you are not connected with Rick and Mike, you are shortchanging yourself and the growth of your brand because they have platforms to elevate you. That's a dynamic. How about custom construction products? What does Texas have more than anybody else in the United States? Brand and folks, what about that? I was in the house the other day, scared me half to death. 42,000 square foot house. Think about that for a second. 42,000 square foot house. This 42,000 square foot house had a 3,100 square foot private suite for the map. Okay? It had a 12 by 12 Romo Greco, Romo Greco bathtub. college and me and my roommates, we would get sharp on Fridays like we had two nickels to rub together and go up in there and perpetrate a fraud. That's what Moxie reminds me of. That's why I won't go. I went there one time, it was one time too many. But I can't meet the people I need to meet there. That's the problem. All right. Treat yourself to increase your benefits. Investors, residential, and commercial. Mike, you guys see how somebody helped with the commercial transaction? So don't run from it. Run to it. You don't need to know it to get paid on it. Come on. Brand. Your brand needs to have people that say, I do this, this, and this. I do this because I have a network within the confines of my broker to get this deal done. That's a part of your brand. When you elevate yourself, you're also elevating to the value of the role. The brand that's out there representing your role. So don't forget this. You represent your role as much as they represent you. Brand. They didn't invest in this new look. I don't like it, by the way. <laughs> they didn't invest in this new look. Okay. Without reason. All right? Elevate. I do agree with that. They changed the look to elevate the value of the brand. What are you doing to elevate your look to increase the value of your brand? 
I have seven older sisters, so I get what he's saying about, right? Ladies, when y'all find somebody to do y'all hair, y'all drive a thousand miles. When the right person do y'all hair, y'all are not giving them up. No matter where you move, you'll fly them in. Come to my house. All right? People need to respect your brand in the exact same way. They're going to call you and nobody else. Friend. We're going to call. And at the end of the day, you want the right one. How many times have you walked away from a customer and said, what the hell was I thinking? Everybody said it, right? Or, they lied to me. <laughs> and you were shocked. That's the scary part. You were shocked. The right client takes vetting from you. You have to vet the client. Right? And it's vetting the client is not just conversation, it's documentation. I don't need to see some Xerox copy of your loan approval because you can cut the tape on it every time. I need the hard copy loan approval from agency lender that you say you have. I need to see the last three months bank statement that you're going to give to the lender. To make sure that you didn't manufacture those on that kinko. When you vet the client, you have just minimized your time waste. Your brand has to be more valued by you than anybody else. You don't want nobody wasting your time. Think about it. How much is your time worth? Who's on social media? Everybody on social media. How much social media do you do on, on yourself, this picture taker? Mm -hmm. A lot? What's your what's your what's your value? How much you worth an hour? Not enough. Huh? Not enough. I, I like the answer. <laughs> not enough. But not enough is a number. It's not a number. Okay. Here you go. Assess the value of $350 an hour for your time. You spend 10 hours a week on social media. You're costing yourself $3,500 a week. $14,000 a month. You are costing yourself on social media. Why? Who takes pictures of their food when they go out of the restaurant? <laughs> stop it, damn it. Stop it. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Eat your damn food. Okay? You want people to know I've chosen this restaurant because of the quality of service, because it's associated with my brand. All right? The service was impeccable. The ambiance could not be touched. These are conversation starters that we are leaving on the side of the road. Your brand needs to be associated right here. And right here means go first class or don't go. Go first class or don't go. I will leave you. I will leave you. Right? And we had a conversation. Well, I know you ain't going to go over there. He said, I know you ain't going to go over there. I've been in style for a long time. Why change now? I was told my network, EO, everybody thinks you're arrogant and uh, obnoxious. So what else you got? That was my response. Deal with me as I am. Part of my brand. I don't compromise me because you're insecure. I refuse. You can't compromise in this business because if you get taken advantage of once, you'll get taken advantage of 10 times because you are giving up the ship. Which means you're not protecting you or your clients. Your brand needs to exhibit strength in all that you do, especially in representing the interests of yourself, your client, and your role. Because if you ugly out there, he's ugly in there. And he had nothing to do with it. Think about life this way. We can go over boards, buy everybody a drink, all right? Buy everybody a drink. But me and Mike get into an argument, and I'm gonna leave out there talking about the argument we had and forget about the drinks. We can't have anything to diminish the value of our brand. What's me? Identity. What's your identity? What attributes make you special? Okay? You know, you know you're on a product, right? You're on a product. So when I see you, what am I seeing? Are you somebody that will take off the shelf? Or are you going to walk down to another? 
Get a part of it. What value do you have? I know the value he has. All right. Uh, I was trying to give you a little church. Come on, Bob. But I know the value. <laughs> but I know the value he has, right? Okay. Do you have a strategy? What's your strategy? I got a license. What the hell that mean? You and 40,000 other people got a license. And we all know out of 40,000, 30,000 are trash. <laughs> they got a license because they think this is easy. This is not an easy job. This takes conviction, passion, and a strategy. Who are you trying to talk to? Straight to have y'all dogs. I got a couple of them. I'm on the wall. Now, let me ask you this. When's the last time you asked your doctor to introduce you to other doctors? Ah. That's in that price window, right? But you don't ask the person that is servicing you for an introduction to people in his field. Does that make any sense? You don't have to ask for those introductions. That's part of your strategy. For this board of ask for those introductions. For those, you know, you put money in their hand. Your car dealer, ask for introductions. Your doctor, ask for introductions. Your CPA, your accountant, ask for introductions. Your favorite restaurant, your mechanic, ask for introductions. That needs to be a part of your strategy so you have better positioning of your brand. Your brand. Marketing and communication. If they don't know you, they cannot buy you. And you will hear me say that a thousand times. Raise your hand if you got your uh, little bag up. Everybody else secret aid? Everybody else secret aid. You don't want nobody to know that you will. What they gonna do? Shoot you out of the garage room? Do they know you're real? You need people to embrace the profession you that, that you've chosen. That's part of your brand. Where is your belief system in what you do? And what you do? I get in trouble every day for something. Okay, for something. You want to know why? I get up each and every day, see how exactly how much hell I can raise without getting caught. That's part of my work. That's part of my work. We had an event yesterday. I was sitting down. See how I sit down. I have to talk to the people over there. Wow. I ain't feeling it. You can't make me feel what I'm not feeling. Okay? Your job as realtors is to be a host. I'm in tight. See, y'all gonna be nice all day. I come about two hours busy. Okay? I gotta be nice all day. Y'all run to give me y'all gotta smile, all that stuff there. In time, two hours. Y'all right. sitting there doing all this old nice stuff, I'll be over here. Ball. <laughs> That's part of my work. Every Christmas. I get seven to eight bottles of whiskey every Christmas. Because that's part of my work. <laughs> I get gifts of glass. That's part of my work. Because I'm associated with those who come home. They're not negative associated for dollars. Before I got married again, I would go to a nice restaurant and I post on Facebook. No, I don't need no damn girl. That was part of my work. You see what I mean? Anything that starts a conversation as a specific opportunity acts upon your brain. How do you communicate? How do you communicate? How do you communicate? What's up? What's up? That's my brain. That's my brain. That's my brain. How do you get I just greet them. Oh, how are you, sir? Oh, doing all right. I didn't have a little whiskey there yet. All right. Okay. So, I understand your real estate profession. Yes, sir. What makes your real estate profession? Ah, you better be an answer. When somebody asks you what makes you a realtor or a real estate professional, you better be able to answer because if you stutter, you lost. Mm -hmm. Part of your brand. So, your branding colors, what do they mean? What's your favorite color? Green. Green. What's your favorite color? Red. Yellow. 
Orange, orange. Green. 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 Look here, there's a, the book is turquoise too. I hate, I don't want no trouble. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stand by it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all better watch turquoise back there. <laughs> but you need to understand the color green. Yep. Red. Okay. Red. Revolution, energy, power, strength, risk, danger, passion, love, sin. Owner, freedom, success, happiness, joy, courage, confidence. Purple, royalty, wealthy, nobility, extravagance, magic, powerful, creative. Blue, dependable, intelligence, security, trust, faith, communication, green, danger, health, peaceful, growth, money, security, harmony. Black, power, classy, dominance, luxury. Protection, mystery, power, and sophistication, and life, fresh purity, innocence, safety, clean baby goodness. You need to know why. You need to know why. These colors have meaning in the brand marketplace. Think about these colors when you look at some of the things you have bought. Do they resonate? Do the color that you embrace resonate? Turquoise right. is in the green family. Why not the blue? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's we we only got one bride for this? Oh, <laughs> one bride. <laughs> one bride. <laughs> one bride. <laughs> you know, I got a foot to push you out next. Oh, <laughs> I've been picked out of those places. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. When's the last time you saw a marquee piece that was brown and neutral? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I mean, you know but I do see those. Where? Name one. Name one. Name, name something that's brown. UPS. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> UPS. Okay. These are your colors for business. Then I qualify that now. These are your colors for business, right? These define you in business. These define you in business. Look at the logos associated with the colors. The logos associated with colors. These are the things that define you in business. Sometimes your logo will beat you into the room. Okay? You want people talking about you before you even get there. You want to be in the room when nobody else is there. Your Grammy colors, what do they be? Who has their own private uh, logo? Oh, there you are. Everybody else sees it. Right? Invest in your logo that defines you. Seriously, invest in the logo that defines you. And know what your logo means. You know, people say, you yeah, know, what's your logo? Real ELC. That's your logo. Damn right, that's my logo. I think that's a real ELC. Everybody else is perfect for their phone. <laughs> That's my logo. I don't need a configuration or a design. I am my logo. But that is not applicable to everybody else. My name is Eno Lalo, the long haul friend. I can't have it as my logo, but I can have an EL frame or ELC as my logo. Father, what defines you in the marketplace? What creates acceptance for you in the marketplace? I'll give you an example. I was called by a real estate broker, and she said, yeah, I need your help. I said, what? She said, well, you're doing some things that I can't do. I said, what are you talking about? She said, you have so many aging clients. What? I never thought of it. She said, you have aging clients. She said, how do you get aging clients? I talk to them crazy. Like I talk to everybody else. <laughs> I don't put anybody up on a pedestal. He ain't afraid that I get along with anybody. He ain't afraid to get this check. 
you. And if there's no check involved, I'm not involved. How simple is that? When it comes to your real estate career, you are interested in making money, are you not? So why the hesitancy in putting your brand out on the front row? Don't start without life. Don't get started without life. Because every realtor I've ever met is a legend in their own minds. I've never not met one realtor that said, well, I'm the best realtor here. I'm the greatest realtor of all time. Nobody can do better than I do with real estate. That's the realtor's confidence. But the reality of the situation, can you back it up with deliverables? You, I'm going to say again, that corner of this corner, you have support mechanisms within the confines of your brokerage to elevate your business and your brand and your underutilizing. Your go-tos are in the room with you. You know how many brokerages, the go-tos are not in the room with you? You have to take that into account. He already told me, he ain't in the room for the White House. I'm just saying. you. <laughs> <laughs> Benefits of brand relationships. Maintaining customer loyalty. Acquiring new customers based on recommendations. I didn't say referral. I said recommendation. Okay? Generating engagement. Keeping one step ahead of competition. Generating a confident brand image. Saving money by knowing and listening to customers. We have a tendency in this business not to listen. We know all the answers before they even ask the question. No, listen. You will secure more business by listening. By listening. Are you going to listen? And that's also going to be a part of your brand. They're a great listener. That's why I want to recommend you to them. They listen. They listen to my needs. They didn't put their needs above of my needs. They listen to my needs. Part of your brand. Building your brand, protecting your brand is based upon what? Knowledge. You cannot increase the value of your brand without knowledge. Hear me today. Are you a hostage here or did you come here to your free will? Which means you're seeking more knowledge to develop more business. I got, I got a couple of hostages over here. What you understand what I'm saying? Benefits, all right? Now, you, you on Instagram a lot? You like Instagram? Of course. Why? Tell me why. Why do uh, you, you got so busy for Instagram? I'm working with you. Now, not me. I can connect with people that, like, I don't see physically all the time. Okay. So it's strictly a connection, not a facilitator. Right. Okay. Everybody in this room needs to use social media as a facilitator of business development. I didn't say selling, a facilitator of business development. That's a part of your brand. If people know you are about business, you don't get business. A facilitator of business development. We don't sell, we educate. We motivate individuals to have more so we can have more. Some of you have heard me say the following. Your dream makes. You facilitate dreams in real estate by yourself. Honor that position as a dream maker. You create an environment for people to be successful in real estate. That's why I don't do all my workshops. Personally, I'll participate in them, but I will never produce one. But I will produce a wealth building through real estate seminar. Because the shortest distance between having something and not having something is real estate. Which means you have the capacity to change lives in ways no other can even dream of. But you got to take it seriously. And it starts with your brand. Like here, here's part of my brand. All right? I do concierge closings. All right? I had a conversation today. said, yeah, you, know, you know you're the only one. Do I, I know that. They ain't got to tell me why I don't know. No, all right. All right? Concierge closing. I close at the buyer's new home. We cater in breakfast, brunch, or lunch. We video. We photograph have a champagne toast. 
They can write up to six guests to help them celebrate their close. Because the closing is a beginning and not an end. And it's also a facilitator of new opportunities because you made yourself different in the marketplace. Yeah. Uh, $450 to sell $450. They don't have a fee. How dare you? <laughs> Just want to be clear on that? Do you see it say fee up here anyway? <laughs> All right. Yeah, then, <laughs> but the minimum, the minimum value of the house is four hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. But you see what I'm saying? Do things to distinguish yourself in the marketplace so I else could. And she said, "Well, yeah. What if other people do it? They don't have me." <laughs> That's the position we all have to take. It's not me. They had a person that said, "I'm trying to do uh, contract closing," and one of my agents that I've done with it is what she said. I said, "What did she say?" Oh, they don't have a champagne toaster at all. all. They ain't no damn concierge toaster. That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> Distinguish yourself in the marketplace to separate yourself. Distinguish yourself to separate yourself. I am a huge believer in being me. You should be a believer in being you, not compromising you. That's a part of your brand.
Think about it. My dress twin here. All right. Think about it. Michael dresses, right? He dresses. He dresses as a pro. Each and every night, except when he got on that Brooks and Davis polo shirt. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. Right. Which is, you know what I'm saying? You know he's representing you out there, but are you representing him out there? Your brand. If you go embarrass my brand, I need you to get out of the car right now. Right. That's what I meant. Mean. Classic style, I'm classic. Mm -hmm. Suit and tie. You will never find me in anything pretty. Some wild pink and green. <laughs> no. Blues, blacks, grays, beiges. I might have some pinstripes up in there. There's a window pane. When it ain't going to be outside that color scheme right there. Yeah. All right? Watch this here. Jim. If you get invited to a black tie event tonight, can you go? I got three cups of milk. Readiness. Readiness. I know ladies always got that gown in the back of the closet. Readiness. You understand? Readiness is a part of your brand. You don't have to go home and get ready. You left right. But there's a position, but there's an opportunity to present yourself when you do are forced to go on and get ready. Can you go in your closet and make it happen? Your brand. Protecting your brand is a whole dynamic. Contemporary style, I'm gonna skip over that. I don't think it's ever. No. Think about it. Who the hell you to wear that? I'll be in people. But anyway, okay, watch it. What does Houston look for you for? Even you just scared me a little bit. Okay. Houston is notorious for not sustaining businesses. Wow. It's notorious for not sustaining businesses. Think about it. Something that's hot today, contemporary, is gone six months from now. All right? You want your brand to have longevity and value. That's why you cannot align it with contemporary. Now, current marketing style can include AI and this, that. That's fine. But you see, marketing. Marketing is fluid, but it's adaptable. But contemporary has no stay in market. No stay in market. Right? It's a dynamic. So, what's your brand say about you? Oh, I want to hire them. Well, I want to hire Big thing. High top. Your style and your brand will be that. Each one of you, no answer, you need to walk away from today and define your style. When you walk away, you need to define your style. All right? Here's what I'm saying. Mike is classic. Rick. Is but not over the top. You see the difference? <laughs> so he's not out of the box. He's in the box, but he's showing you his individuality. He expands the box. Okay? So there's no compromise for where they fit. None. What you see is what you get. And if you know him, you know I'm telling the truth. What you see is what you get. So think about how he's sustained his style. And his brand, the lack of compromise. He has not compromised himself. He has not justified the insecurities of another. If you can't handle it, move around. That's what your brand is saying. You don't define me, I define me. And that word right there, consistency. Consistency. Those hands. No consistency. Yeah, you don't have to. Wait a minute. Yeah, you don't try to get along with nobody. You're right. Whatever you got. Yeah, so and so want to meet you. I don't want to meet them. But they want to hire you. There are certain people who can't hire me because they're going to diminish my brand. 
You invited over here? Nope. Ask him what I say to get him in trouble. Oh, no. That's what I said. I tell him, he said, yeah, you don't come to HBRA election. I ain't going nowhere to you, President. <laughs> I said, I said, like, yeah, hey, you coming? When Michael Davis was president, I said, I'm not. He get in trouble for my mouth. Think about that for a second. Said, yeah, but he ain't the president yet. When he's the president, he gets my 150 cents support. The rest of y'all can send them off. <laughs> what do I look like compromising my belief system? He's not in the seat yet. He gets my support when he in the seat. The other person, they can have all that. <laughs> so, market separation. Hosting information sessions for investors. Is anybody doing anything like that to meet investors? Think about that. Hosting information sessions for investors. You know what investors are doing right now? They're building their own investment properties. They're hiring builders to build their own duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes, and multifamilies. Have you ever thought about an investor information session to put people in the room with who? You. To show them how you can help elevate their value and their portfolio with the services you provide. Market separation. Do things differently in the market to facilitate more opportunities for yourself. How about marketing alliance development? Does everybody in the room have a marketing alliance agreement with me? Yes, you do. Because of you do. I'm aligned with Brooks and Davis. Are you not Brooks and Davis people? Which means you're aligned with me. Resources you have that you have to inquire about. There's really nothing. Now, I didn't put up there your broke community messaging. I put your community messaging up there. So what community are you messaging to? Is it the right community to target for your business development? That's the brand. Think about it. You know they got agents out there. You know how many people work with the people? Who's your people? I'm not saying you don't have some people out there who need a hand up. Not a hand up. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you have more of those who go drain you than elevate you. That's what I'm saying. So that means you have to be very selective in the process. Relationship cultivation and introduction. Best relationship you have. The best relationships you think you have, do they really support you? Or are they drag it for you until you walk out of it and they stop? But you have to ask yourself this. I work with so and so. I work with so and so. But do they work with you? This is my inspector. But are you their real? Oh. <laughs> This is my lender, but are you a builder? This is my friend, or are they your friend of me? Uh -huh. Everything you do must protect your brand. And you can't align yourself with individuals who are going to lower your value of the brand or diminish the brand in your presence. Creating business to develop business. We just talked about you have land here. You have land all over town here. Has anybody ever made inquiries in vacant lots? On behalf of a client you might not have yet. But you have a vacant lot over here that can accommodate a six half an hour home. So you identify that seller and you match bait with a potential buyer. Create business to develop business. Reaching back to your previous careers to cultivate and develop new business. Creating business and develop business. People ask, yeah, how do you do that? People like to inspire myself. Talk about that. People like to inspire myself. So I 
But if you meet him, did he love you? Did he want to run out of the bar? Well, that's how I live my life. I'm not looking for 100%. I'm looking for the 50 that's going to elevate me. Posting party. Who has open house? Raise your hand. Anybody know the open house lady? How many people showed up? Four. How many people showed up? Six. How many people showed up? Two. Three. Two. Two or three, right? An open house is a whole house. I hope somebody show up. All right? But a posting party with you, the agent, and an additional 12 to 15 agents coming there, and everybody is live posting on social media, doing reels and videos, and you know they there because it's a private invitation. So why would you do an open house to market the house versus a posting party to market the house? We did about three weeks ago, $1.5 million a night. Only seven of the 12 agents showed up. But two of the reels was out there and contracted four days four days later because it was out there. Post and post parts. When you have an opportunity to create a reel or create a video, do it and put it out there and make sure you can reach me at 703 blah 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 or 832 blah 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 whatever. But make sure when you put that information out there that you are the source of contact for that house. Post And it's all about listing exposure. All about listing exposure. But think about this. Think about the exposure when you're sitting down presenting to a potential client to list their house. I have resources and exposure opportunities that most don't have. Like, even Jenny Robinson said, I have two pages in Homes and Land magazine, and I can choose any listing I want to go in Homes and Land magazine, and it'll cost me nothing except deal with me and my bad attitude every couple of weeks. <laughs> okay? So it'll cost me nothing. $450 on minimum. But think about it. Homes and Land magazine is syndicated to mention local, Brown Report, Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, and Mary's. That's the kind of relationship you have through him. But if you don't ask for the assistance, you can't secure the assistance. So, website. This is the tell your story. And people, HAR, that is not your website. That is your, that's your hostage situation, but it's not your website. Okay? You got website templates. You got corporate websites. Okay. Customize. What I'm saying is you want to get your own message out. You know that? When you dictate the terms of the information being released in the marketplace. And it's not expensive to invest in yourself. Especially if investing in yourself is going to facilitate more opportunities for you. And when you get your custom website, you make sure that your website and all your contact information is in your signature line on your email and your signature line on your text. And every time you post on social media, all your information is right there for them to click on. Your brand. What makes you different? What makes you special? What makes people not want to hurt you? So, the deliverance about you, your accomplishments, your credentials. What's your credentials? Mr. David, what are your credentials? I mean, I've been in the business 20 years. Over a thousand transactions under my belt. Close to 2,000 agents that I've engaged with in my career. Okay. Is that right? That's about him, right? His accomplishments, his credentials. He just summed it up for you. What are yours? Watch this here. You don't need yours right now because you can piggyback off his. You have his experience to align with you to grow the value of your brand. We have had over a thousand transactions in the 20 years we've been in business. We, operative word, we. Is that right? Just got your le- just got your license this morning. We. <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying? You have this experience around you between Mike and Rick and Larry. This encompasses you. 
<laughs> you ever seen those commercials? We have 35 years experience in this office. They just got an idea for that. You see what I mean? Your organizational DNA. Your organizational DNA. Your Brooks and Davis DNA. Are you not leveraging that to grow the value of your business? Organizational DNA. Everything you do, reciprocally speaking, Brooks and Davis, you, you and Brooks and Davis. Brooks and Davis, you, you and Brooks and Davis. It's a dynamic. Because you are part of Brooks and Davis, that means you are part of the DNA. And as the DNA expands, do you expand? Yes, you do. You're right. There are areas of expertise. You don't need to know how to do it. You're surrounded with people who can do it. Or your brand. You don't have to diminish the value of your brand. You have to embrace the value of your work. It's not bragging if it's true. He just told you. How long Brooks has been in business? 20 years. I know he looks like he's only 20. <laughs> he's been here a long time. He's about to so right. <laughs> <laughs> But show areas of expertise. What's Brooks and David saying about it? You got one? What is it? Uh, you, try to, you don't know it? You got to know, you got to know the spot. <laughs> All right, so to create a great experience for every stakeholder in the real estate. There you go. Say it like me, man. Okay, <laughs> Everybody should have a tag on. What's your tag on? My tag on is building business is my business. That's my tag And the one that I got on the back of my t shirt, if you don't like it, it's in the next title. <laughs> <laughs> Video testimonies. If you had a phone, did you video the buyer at the phone? Okay. They are at their happiest point. They're most enthusiastic. They're going to swing you walk or walk. <laughs> but if you only got one chance to get that in that phone, because you can't go back. Because they go, I got my chance. All right, that, that's what happens. I have my keys. I don't need you no more. Okay, embrace opportunities. When is the last time you did a video to reintroduce you and your brand to the people in your phone? Your brand. When you go to elevate and change your brand, reintroduction is a part of your brand business. How many times you heard this? Because you're not taking the time to reintroduce yourself or acknowledge the profession you have chosen to be in. So, locate your account, locate your brand. I know I can locate your you, you like a star. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> you come, you come in, <laughs> Dual speaks. Monarch type. Only hard to play. Real ELC. Archives, real estate use case. These are my brands. These are things I'm associated with. These are your songs. Where you can find me. I'm not on the most water website. Go look there. <laughs> but you can find me. Look what he is on the right. And they got some of them. As the uh, owner said, I'm a kill. Just so someone said, I'm a kill. He says, you know what? Do you have a passion, interest in real estate, want to learn from the pros, and have some fun with the owner? Welcome to the Real Estate Food Show, your connection to all things real estate, buying, selling, investing, and new construction sales, including residential and commercial real estate financing. Tune in for weekly live episodes with real estate experts and guests, packed with their best tips and tricks, and get a sneak peek into their national marketing relationships. Sponsored by the trusted team of Builder Boosted Homes and Land Magazine, the real estate news show, informative, insightful, and with a little touch of humor. Tune in to www.rpuworldwide.com, Saturdays at 11 a.m. CST. Always find me. Always find me. Can I find you? 
and it doesn't make me have your own show. Can I find you? I find you by your capacity of engagement. Your capacity of engagement. Right? Y'all know what Rick do on oh, 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 this podcast. Y'all know what Rick do? Raise your hand if you've been on the podcast. Everybody's hand in this room to the window. Everybody. Everybody. Because that gives you something to repurpose and market yourself. But yet still, you're ignoring resources within the confines of your program to elevate your brand. Does that make any sense to you? They are available to elevate you. They are available to allow you to grow and go where you want to be. Who's on Mike's uh, Monday coaching call? Raise your hand. Monday coaching call. Monday coaching call. Every Monday. Every Monday. Okay. So basically, everybody in here already know what the hell they need to know. Everybody in here know what the hell they need to know. So you already know what the hell you need to know. Yeah. They don't need help. They don't need help, Mike. They can't check like that. They got to go. They got to go. You have a residential coach. Let me see. If you have a coach in residence, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, you have a coach in residence. But yet still, you don't get on the line with him because you're already boxing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't do it. Take advantage of the resources you have that have been made available to you. Especially when you can repurpose stuff with Rick and gain knowledge with Mark. This is called for a world of better scripture than David Boys. Take advantage of the resources to build your brand. Or is your brand built enough? Raise your hand if your brand is built enough. That's what I need to know. Brand not built enough, but you're ignoring these resources. <laughs> your roadmap. Branding, marketing, revenue book. That's simple. Branding, marketing, revenue book. If you don't have a brand to market, you can't grow your revenue. You can't. If they don't know you, how are they going to buy you? How are they going to find you? How are they going to secure your services <coughs> if they don't know nothing about you? <laughs> Please don't be that agent that did this to me one time in the grocery store. Hey, you look for a little bit of Hey, I don't have a little bit of <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Just going to black belt. Every time I put that, the DVM on my signature line, for somebody who don't know, they call me. Hey, I want the DVM. This one will blame me. <laughs> what? But I'm not angry. <laughs> Sometimes I'm thinking. Yeah. Sometimes I'm thinking. You want to engage me. What are you doing to facilitate engagement? I raise as much as I get away with each and every day. Until you let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. I am a senior instructor of a little training of a loan officer. That's my brand. When I go to different states and put that up there, and then I tell them it is at the end of the class, this man is lost his mind. Yes, yes, he has. I just said it's an eight hours with you. Yes, I want to be credit. Part of the work. They have invited me to sponsor things, right? I've been ducking out the back door for years. Here yeah, we go. I don't want to be on that damn thing like this. What are you going Right? They have a, there you go. You better get it before you leave. I am notorious about leaving. Here, yeah, you want to sponsor. They ain't up on the screen. I don't up on the screen. What happened? I don't need what happened. What happened? my birthday. He will leave. He go, but he never stays. He's gonna find something wrong. Yeah. People over the alcohol, he's gonna find something wrong. <laughs> the lead hell of out of it. my brand. There is an expectation because my brand has been established in that match. We have a mutual friend. Uh, uh anybody know Lenana Parker? Okay, this is Lenana said, which has the application of EL. I need to ask you a favor. Well, I need to be a little CNN to be. I don't need you confronting people today and calling people out. But they need to be told the truth. When you don't need to be the truth teller today. Think about it. There's no people that just want to tell them this stuff. So just restrain yourself. I don't have that button that restrains myself. So totally unapologetic and authentic. My siblings say I was the worst of my mother and our father, and I say that. <laughs> All the time. Hey, who do you act like? I said they were our mother. What? Your mother? Yes. But then I'm introducing some of the people to my sisters. Oh, my God. He ain't right. <laughs> so, foundation, brand exposure. You all have those, right? But are you using them to benefit the growth of your brand and your business? Or are you just posting pictures of your food? No. You know what I'm looking at? <laughs> Mr. Turco. <laughs> you said you didn't post pictures of food, that's what you said? <laughs> yeah, I see you post pictures of water burger all day. Oh. Come on, what else are you doing? Don't be cheese burger at water But your land resource are all the people that you know. These platforms. But all the people you know, that's where your brand resourcing is at. Who are you connecting with via social media, email, and text to elevate your brand? That's your brand resource. You don't have to spend money on meetings and what do you call them? Booth meetings. Connect with the people you know and reintroduce yourself. So, brand collaboration. Right? That's my phone first. Because I can't do a video. Then I go rogue. <laughs> all right? Then you're trying to give me a script. I go off the ball now. You know, it should be a 45 seconds or one minute and 10 second video. You know, that work out that way. So I had to focus. A beautiful new built home. One with quality craftsmanship and higher end amenities, but still within your budget? Oh, do I have good news for you. Alta Homes is now selling top of the line new construction homes for the home buyer, providing amenities not usually associated under $500,000. And you want to know what makes them really shine? You'll get to participate in the construction throughout the process. And rest easy knowing that Alta Homes promises to only build what we believe in. Alta Homes provides financing resources with up to 100% financing and even the ability to finance the closing costs, including Alta Homes providing additional closing cost assistance if needed. 
Doesn't it get better than that? Just give us a call or visit us to start your new build journey today. Out to homes, we only build what we would live in. Who are you collaborating with to elevate your work? Who are you collaborating with? You know, you, 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 you have to say my inspector, my insurance person, my lender, my own mortgage. You're quick to say that. But are they collaborating with you to elevate your work? And if they're not, if they're going to stutter, you got to go. You got to go. You're not doing anything to help me, but I'm doing everything to help you. How is it you always have bread on your table and I don't have any on mine? Your brand needs to say, I will not be used. That needs to be a part of your brand. I don't have a tattoo nowhere on me that says, Use me. Nor should you. So, advocacy everywhere. Who's advocating for you? Me. My advocating for y'all. Are you advocating for money? How are you advocating for money? By continuously, anytime I post a flyer and say, Look, the neighbors is advocating for money. Anytime I step out the door, I look like somebody, I tell my real to associate with it, I'm advocating for money. There you go. Advocacy is the bedrock of your book. Advocating for them and then advocating for you. And if they're not advocating for you, it then what? And you take them out your car. <laughs> No. <laughs> you're not here to be you to take that bad stuff. You're here to grow your business. You're in the business to grow. So, are you top of mind with all whom you work with? Are you top of mind with all whom you market to? Who goes to church in here? Bring it in. You drive by. <laughs> I do drive by some church. I drive by church in there. Okay. What is the last time? You went to senior leadership at your church that I was doing well built through real estate still up. Now see, I'll come as long as I'm in the fellowship hall. Because if you try to give me the sanctuary, that's a whole other issue. Okay, I ain't doing sanctuary. I do fellowship hall. I ain't doing sanctuary. It's too hot. It's too hot. People <laughs> call me out there. <laughs> but you need advocacy. But what's the last time? Who lives in the community that has a community center? Raise your hand. Why can't you host your community center? Buy and sell your investor real estate and market to all of the renters in the area. When you sell something, you put your brand on the front row. Who do you tell? Are you telling that neighbor who lives and the largest small business owner in that area that you are an expert in this area you just sold a home and I can represent you in buying and selling real estate? No, what you do is you sit there in the power company office and stalk the wire or the check when you need to get out there and do more. <laughs> you, got to yet, you, got to yet, you got to fund another year. You need to be creating more opportunities while you're sitting in that power office waiting for your <laughs> There are opportunities everywhere. Okay? You have to take advantage of these opportunities that are being presented to you because one, you were both today. Two, you have an innovative leadership team. All right? Even though the story is not me, man. Give it up and off and over, I ain't into it. You know, plug in this and set up that and there we go. Yeah. Message consistency. What's your message? You choose Alta Homes. You're choosing the builder you can count on to create not only your home, but something you are proud to own. We are at your side every step during the purchase process, from the moment you sign your contract to the moment you receive your keys. Sales consultants to guide you in selecting exterior colors and great stone options. A design center to effortlessly help you customize every detail, from lighting and faucets to the flooring, tile, cabinetry, and countertops. Our smart home provider to enhance your home's Same message as the library. Message for six. Same message as the library. The cartoon message was the exact same message as the library. Are you consistent in what you're telling people as a little bit of I'm bad at 
Nobody know? Nobody know? Did I sign her birthday? <laughs> Nobody knows May 4th. Uh, yeah. I know May 4th. 2024. Okay. Missy? Oh, I heard 2004. Okay, you heard the four part. I really need to stop drinking before you come in. Exactly. Uh, May 4th, 2024. Nobody know? Nobody know. Kentucky Derby. Exactly. Kentucky Derby. You know how many Kentucky Derby parties gonna be around this city on May the fourth? You need to be in those Kentucky Derby parties. You need to find one of them hats and go raise some hell in one of them hats. <laughs> Think about it. Sam Houston Race Park has multiple Kentucky Derby parties each and every year, sponsored by some of the largest corporations in this town, some of the richest people in this town. Some of these restaurants around here that are open in the daytime are open during the day for Kentucky Derby parks for those clientele. Don't you think you need to be in some of those rooms to meet these different people? Get a couple. Show up and show out. All you got to do is Google Kentucky Derby parties in Houston, Texas and see where they're at. I don't miss. I will put on my Panama <laughs> and my sky blue suit, my pink shirt, and walk in there like I own the damn place. <laughs> show up and show out. Meet people you don't know instead of continue to hang with people you do know. Because they've already shown you you can't make no money with them. Your brand dictates change. Your brand dictates being a couple. Your brand dictates you finding a new pathway to greatness. Your brand. Yeah, you got to eliminate the fear. Now, my whole fear is spread right here. I ain't worried about it. I have a few fighting in the park right here. <laughs> Being proactive. Stop waiting for stuff to happen. Make it happen. Stop waiting for stuff to happen. Make it happen. You have resources at Brooklyn Davis. Be proactive. Ask for the help. It's not shaming to ask for help. It's not embarrassing to ask for help. What you're saying is, I want to elevate my brand to be the best version of myself as a real estate professional. This is what I need from you, Mike. This is what I need from you, This is what I need from you, Larry. That's how you get it done. Your brand. It's simple. Brand, logo, marketing, value, design, strategy, trust, identity, advertising. So think about this. Everybody don't have a logo, right? Yes, you do. It's Brooks and Davis. That's your logo. If you don't have a customer, and you have a customized logo, Brooks and Davis ain't your logo. So don't tell me you don't have a logo. Because it's true. You have a logo to market with. And think about this. He is insured your social media presence. 
students by his behavior on social media with that logo. So the strength of your social media presence is already in place, but you're not utilizing it to elevate your work. Raise enough hell when you heard above the crowd and you don't have to be loud. You gotta be present. Seven steps. We're not asking you to do any more than you have the capacity to do because the tools are within the confines of your rovers to facilitate just that. So, you know, I like girls. No, I like no, I like girls. I don't know. Me and my friend like him like girls. Let's be broke people. We ain't have no time. Think about it. Red is only more attentive. Do you need to be able to purchase an exotic car to go to an exotic car auction? So why aren't you going? Do you need to be invited to go to a grand old? No, you do not. Do you need to purchase art at an art auction to go to an art auction? And yet, and still, you're not showing up to meet those people you say you want to work with. I have sat at an exotic car auction and somebody bought a car from 1932-33. Stroked the check for $495,000. Sit right there next to me. That's who we need to sit next to. They are in your path. Everybody trying to go to the rodeo for a concert, I'm going to the rodeo to make some money. I went to the rodeo for the first time this year. Since we got the ass, no, we don't want that ass. Long time ago, all right. And they said, "Yeah, going to the rodeo, no damn rodeo." Because it's it's the end. I said, "Ain't gonna be around all damn people." No, it's the end. It's a private suite. Okay, man, we talk. Who gonna be in the suite? The director of production for a major credit. The vice president of this credit. The people who invite me. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I want to be a little bit. So you're going to invite me to meet some important people and let me eat and drink for free too? You had me. <laughs> you totally had me. Okay? But if you were going to ask me to be in the middle of the crowd, no. I only do things that benefit my business. And I always ask the question. Who goes to anybody been to a concert in the last year? Raise your hand. Anybody been to a concert? Yeah. What concert you went to? Uh, Say it out loud, Barry. Who? Who? No, I don't care. Who is that? What's his name? Who is that? What's his name? Okay. As you can see, I'm old. Don't mess with me. Okay. Did you buy a new outfit? You went up with, you know. But you were stylish, though, right? Okay, what about you did? Could he see you? You see what I mean? We go do things looking for acceptance that is no benefit to us. Now, I'm not saying you didn't go to enjoy the music. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, in a bigger scheme of things, we go do things that is no benefit to us. Okay. Okay. And you can't get that ticket reimbursed either. <laughs> hey, you like that? <coughs> All right. Resorts. Is anybody resorting on this weekend? Resorts. This is thing. Yeah. Going to resorts on the weekend. If you ain't doing all the going to drive up and have some cocktails. Yeah. To meet people. To engage people. To develop new relationships. So, who never introduced the middle school here? No one. I know that the middle school. If my kids are weak, yeah. we don't get to laugh on one every time. I went to the GA building two days ago. And to the funny lady at the front of the desk, she wanted to talk to you to not a member. She got a whole line and everything. I'm sorry if you're not a member. I can't share information about any members. And then I was like, well, how much it cost to be a member? She ran to the back, came back with her application, application, and all of it. 
Now, it's very useful for organization, but in all our lives, it's just about membership before they share. Okay. And here's the flip side. You're looking at the chairman of real relations for the Greater Houston Building Association. I was hoping to trip over you over there. That was my mission was to bump you over there. Okay, right there. All right. It normally costs realtors eight hundred something dollars to be a member. With my chairman's discount, only costs you two thirty nine. I tell you, people like me, in spite of myself, y'all yeah, believe? See, all you gotta do is send an email to tplc at mtotx.net, and she'll send it to you. The application. Because the application is not online at the builder's website. It's mine, damn it. On the paperwork, it was the tradition of yeah. pay the free. No, they ain't going to tell you anything about that. I, I, I got to be out there in these streets like a Steve Hooker telling you all about this kind of stuff. Okay, I got the bag. Brand building based on what you have. Now, I don't do my own social media. She does. Naomi. Also so I don't waste $3,500 a week doing my own stuff. I wouldn't know what the hell I'm going to need. Okay? I'm going to pay somebody to do it efficiently and proficiently to get my message out. Okay? So you need to have a social media account. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. 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 But if you are a realtor and you are the most prolific movement structure for me, then I'm going to work like y'all. Then I'm going to work like y'all. You're the most prolific new construction community in the United States of America, yet still, you're not a member. Think about that. We got even a promoter to the last night this morning. We got a, we got a, uh, he said, yeah, you still get that discount? He said, yeah, because I want to go to Battle of Builders. Well, Battle of Builders is multiple builders and contracts, all right? We had a Battle of Builders at the bowling alley a couple months ago, and my <laughs> assistant showed herself to be a traitor. <laughs> okay, now I look for her because each lane had a different uh, theme and outfit, right? So I was in the theme I had a crown on and my robe. That's not the picture she took and put up on Facebook. <laughs> The picture she took put on Facebook was E.L. Crane and her tutu. Okay? A hot tutu. A hot tutu. Okay? She should have been fine right there and there. But I let her miss it. But it's always fun because you had builders, suppliers, and production people at that moment. In the room. And if you're a builder member, think about this. If you go to the Custom Builders Council, who are you sitting at the table with? The decision maker. Because the custom builders, they don't have no influence. So if you develop the right relationship, you secure what? Land for them? They will let you what? Yeah. List for them. Yeah. Or sex out. Well, but, yeah. So why is that so to full access if you were? Yeah, you can do all your password, you can do all your research, all your marketing. Right through website. Everything is on there. And you get monthly builder magazines. You get notification from the National Association of Home Builders. You become a member of the Texas Association of Builders. All under one membership. So I need you to stop doing whatever you've been doing. Okay? She don't want to write that. Yeah, she wants to do one. So think about it. Luxury Institute. Luxury equals investment. Luxury equals investment. Don't tell me you want to do luxury if you don't want to invest in yourself. Because a luxury listing takes investment. Right? A luxury listing takes investment. Think about this. Five million dollar listing, you invest twenty two thousand dollars before you can get sold. Now we already know that in result, if you get sold, but there's no guarantee that you're gonna be the realtor that has the listing when it gets sold. So this is what I always suggest. When it comes to luxury, secure buyers, stack your dollars before you start seeing listings. Because in the luxury sphere, it's very small, it's very tiny. It's a tight community. If you mess up, trust me, they will let the whole world know you mess up. Because there's only many, so many luxury listings out there. 
So, today has been about market domination and branding. Do we have any questions from the Dino Yap? <laughs> no? Okay, I'm going to bring my uh, world, world of work, work of life ever up here. Uh, this is the type of literature from Prosperity Bank. I want to introduce you. Where are you going to go first? Sorry, yeah. I got to hop on a Zoom. You got to yeah. hop on a Zoom? Yeah. Okay. 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 Did you let me go like that? She ain't she ain't she ain't she ain't this is Natasha Livingston. What uh, 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 works for Cousin Never? Hello. Hello. I try to keep up to that name. Um, my name is Natasha Livingston, and I work with Prosperity Bank. I'm actually on the community outreach side, and I am. Oh, hey, I was just waiting on you to get <laughs> Been working with this gentleman a long time. I've been in the industry for um, that long, little twentyish years. Um, I was a licensed realtor in '96 in the state of Texas. I still am. I'm just not active, so I know quite a bit about real estate. Um, are all of you realtors? Are you all also, new realtors? Some are like real estate. Okay. Okay. Well, I so welcome, and I um, know a little bit about where you are sitting, and I've been there at some point or some phase, but a little bit about what we're doing at Prosperity on the community outreach side. We're getting ourselves into the community. We're uh, making sure that communities know that we're here and we can do more than just open up a bank account or a checking account or commercial. We also service loans and mortgages. And a lot of people don't realize that, um, including myself before I came on board. And I've been in the industry for 20 years. so. With that being said, um, Prosperity is one of the largest mid-sized banks in Texas. We have over forty-two billion dollars, um, and so we. The nice thing about Prosperity is we can also portfolio our own loans. So for those of you that don't know what that means, that means that we underwrite, keep it, and house it, and don't sell it on the secondary market. So if there's a loan that needs some special attention. It can qualify for uh, it could possibly qualify for a portfolio. Uh, one of those that we do best is one time close. And if you're working with small builders, developers, you can do a one time close on a loan that if you have someone that wants to build from the ground up, which is nice because you don't have to keep going back every time to get the loan. So you close one time and everything just needs to have your land and your builder ready, and we're all set. With that being said, we do everything else. We do all loans that there are. So I don't, I'm not here to sell you on doing a loan. I'm here more importantly to just let you know that we're here and we want to be resourced for you in the community. On the other side of that, if you're working with first time home buyers, and I'm not sure what this group is, and if you want to work with me and my team, we can do a um, Worst work, worst work. Um, we can work with you on doing classes and empowerment series for your churches, or if you're a part of a local community group, or something of that nature. Or if you want to try to put something together when you're marketing to first time home buyers, um, we have a class where they can get their certificate at the end of the session. So we we can do a lot of things, and I just want to make sure that you all are aware. And that you know. Um, so, any questions? Anything that I can ask for you? Do you have any specific programs um, that came to first time buyers? So, we have, we used to have one, and now, it, I mean, so we don't have that particular program anymore. It was what we call a hot one. Okay. Uh, but now we do, we are doing, we do most of the down payment assistance programs. Okay. And we can underwrite under Freddie Mac. Now that will be portfolio. Okay. So that's going to be your regular underwriting guidelines. So we can do that, but we're partnered with all of the um, first time home buyer programs with the down payment assistance. I think the one that I just looked at is, um, I think, 3%, I think only 3% down. Okay. And so, you know, if you want to give me a call, I can let you know where we are with those. It's a 640, I think, on the um, FICO score. And then whatever this particular group, I can remember right now, it's called so you know, something within reach. And they'll carry the second lane on that one. So, but we can do, you know, a HELOC if we have investors and they're wanting to get a HELOC, they can do a home equity line on credit if they have a primary residence and they can use that money to property. Um, so those are, but that's a portfolio. Yeah, I'm talking about portfolio cards. 
Yeah, so the portfolio products that we have, we do, we're trying to get back to Saba's loan that we used to do. We did one time close. We, we have that HELOC that we can do that way. And we have what's called like a home equity loan. <laughs> um, we have a cash out. But again, I think the home equity loan is a little bit more, it's better. Um, so, so we can do anything. I mean, we can loan from tractors, uh, land, uh, just farm and land. Pretty much boats, anything commercial, even commercial land as well. So it just depends uh, on what your client is looking for and if you have a certain demographic that you're looking for. Okay. Um, but again, always give me a call and let me know if you have a question on something. Like I said, we, we do everything. So for me to you know, try to sell you on one particular one is not necessarily why. So, and that's just regular underwriting guidelines, meaning, so if we're doing a rehab home and, you know, all the walls are knocked out, but everything else, is, the structure itself is there, then that's something that we can work with. But if it's, but that would have to be on a rehab. Now, if someone tried to do that on a HELOC and the appraiser had, I think, in level two or whatever, and that didn't work on a HELOC. But if we were doing it on that Freddie Mac um, rehab loan, I think it's uh, some of the choice. So that one you can do. And with that, you can even get the money and pay your own contractors. But you just have to have your bid. And so it has the line or whatever that you, know, you come under the appraisal. So you can't have a bid for a whole new kitchen and then you don't have walls in the house. Right. You know what I mean? So it needs to make sense for it to align. That so sure. right. got to make sense. That's right. So those are the things that we can definitely do that. Yes, ma'am. It's a 15%. You get the loan for 15% over the data loan? Um, I don't know if it's 15 or 20. This one might be. It might be. It's either 10, 15, or 20. I can't remember on that one. It depends on if we're doing that Freddie Mac choice. Because we do have a portfolio one that we can do too. But you're not. But it's. It's limited. I believe you can only get up to a hundred thousand or seventy-five thousand. So it would depend on what type of repair you're trying to do. You can get more on the credit right map. The home sales. Right. Any other questions? Good questions. So how was uh, did Mr. Crane fill you all up with some good uh, branding marketing ideas? He did all right. He did all right. Okay. Yeah. So I um, again, like I said, we. Are you know we do more than just bank. I mean we're bankers, yes, but we also are really wanting to emphasize and get into the community and work in, in our communities, which is why I want to make sure you all know that we're here um, as a resource and as well as any community endeavors that you all may be a part of. I know when I was a realtor, I did a lot of government affairs and I worked a lot in the community and I was part of a lot of organizations. So if there's something in that regard that you're having, give me a call and let me know. Sure will. All right. Yes, okay. All right. Well, okay. let me know. Um, welcome and good luck with uh, real estate. And I have some cards. You know, if you guys have any questions and want to see a card, let me know. And the office is right across the street. You can too. I'm going to be calling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you. 